Would it be special to play against Birx in a professional match for you? Mm, not really. Mm. I mean, back if if it was like three years ago, I would say it would be uh, special. But mm. now I'm uh, think I'm better than him anyway, so I don't really mind. You know their gaming names, but who are they really? Take a look with us under the hood. Welcome to the third episode of Under the Hood, your favorite LEC team podcast, and the only one, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm Tien, your host, and today we have a really special guest, um, the rogue mid laner, Emil Larsen Larsen. Hello. Hello. I butchered the name as well. <laughs> yeah. Can you say it in Swedish one, one time? Wait, which one? Your, your, whole, your name? Emil uh, Larsen, uh, Larsen Larsen. 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 Uh, how old are you, Emil? 19. 19. You're only 19? I thought you're 20. I look older. Right? Wait, you're 19. So you're the second youngest in the team? Yeah, I'm serious here. And you t you're going to turn 20, right? Yes. When, when are you going to turn 20 this year? March 30. March 30. That's like, is that still spring split? Uh, it's kind of playoffs, no? Some playoffs. So we're going to get a playoff win for you for your birthday. If you get to play off there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you probably didn't listen to the podcast before, which is a good thing, actually. So uh, what we do at the beginning is we ask 10 quick questions. Uh, don't think too much about them. Just answer them and we go from there. All right? Yep. Sure. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, boy. Question number one. What's your favorite food and drink? Uh, tacos and uh, milk, I guess. Okay, tacos like the hard shelled one or the soft, 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 soft one. It's like a Swedish thing. So Taco have, Friday. So you have like good tacos in Sweden? Where? In Sweden? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you just make them home, and uh, yeah. I mean, it's like a standard Swedish thing. Okay. And uh, did you find any good tacos here in Berlin yet? No. No. I don't. I'm not out that much. Okay. We we should go to a place because uh, you know Fles, the one who does the LEC uh, Twitter. He told me like a good place for tacos, like soft tacos. Okay. We should go there. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, let's do that. And milk. Like, do you drink like milk three times a day? Uh, when at home, I always drink a lot of milk, but here I don't drink that much. Yeah. So I don't like the milk here as much. But when I was a kid, I always like loved milk. So. Now that you say, I, I think it tastes quite different. Swedish milk and uh, German milk. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why, but. I mean, there's something. I mean, for the listeners, so I'm quite a lot in Sweden since it's a long story. I'm a Swedish citizen as well. And also the funny story is uh, your hometown is a town that I've been to like quite a lot. I think yeah. probably 40 times or something like that. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you should say it. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> But um, yeah, so that was quite funny when we went to your graduation and I could visit like my family that lived there. So yep. But yeah, also I think like the butter tastes so much different here. Butter? Uh, yeah, like w you guys use salty butter and here it's like net neutral. I guess. I don't really eat a uh, sandwich, but... Oh, okay. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you you guys' food is so much different, you know? Like there's color and... What is it? Is it called color the ca caviar? Oh, I mean, I don't eat that either. Oh, yeah, I mean, I it's like... That. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, le uh, let's go to the next question. Uh, question number two. Who's your favorite League of Legends champion? Uh, Kiana. Kiana? Yeah. But she's fairly new. Who was your champion before that? Uh, Rice, I guess. I mean, it depends. Like, mm. yeah, I always changed this before. Uh, at, when I started playing, I would say the Teemo, maybe. Okay. But then I would say Sed, and then maybe Fist, and then maybe Rice, and then Kiana. I don't, so, know. I so don't have any special champ. So do you uh, rank them like how OP they are? Nah, how fun they are. I mean, like, assassins okay. are usually like way more fun, right? So what about Zed? I mean, they need to be good as well. But is he fun to play? Kinda, but it's not fun to play a bad champion. Yeah. Um, all right. Then the next question would be, what do you love the most about being a professional esports player? Hmm. Uh, it's really nice to not uh, wake up like 7 a.m. That was like the worst thing uh, I know. When okay. I was at school and stuff, waking up early is like, I hate it. So... Uh, 
since not that many people know your schedule what is it like your usual time you wake up right right mm-hmm. now you should wake up like 11 30 okay so that's pretty late except yesterday yeah <laughs> because what, what did we do yesterday we had uh, some exercise uh, so what do you call it? workout so like a real team. Work, real workout yeah not like a gaming workout i mean it's not that hard for me but for some other people it's yeah very hard so do you, do you already see the impact i mean you did it twice uh for now right uh the impact is people are tired yeah so yeah. you saw it in scrims yesterday that people were really tired mm, not really yeah. not as much but she but made, first time uh, some uh, we were kind of dead so she made it lighter right the yeah. workout yesterday yeah but it was the first lighter. time everyone was kind of dead i wanted to puke and um. <laughs> well it was too light today uh, yesterday right yeah for me so okay. you think it's gonna be it's gonna be um it's gonna be a bit harder i mean the next session is tomorrow right uh yeah are you going afternoon or in the morning we go after after screams like uh, eight in the so evening. I, f- I think tomorrow is gonna be tough again yeah i hope so <laughs> all right the next question would be uh, what do you hate the most about being a professional esports player what i hate yeah mm. I guess uh, the schedule. I mean, I kind of live league. I mean, all I think about is league. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the only kind of negative thing part. But I mean, I like it, so it's not really negative. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you're pretty or fairly short in the league, right? So it's not like you had like a long time career so far. But um, yeah, do you already feel like kind of like burnout? Because no. I think Finset was like really monotone, right? It's always the same things. And uh, mm, I mean, it's kind of same, but it's not. Uh, I, I like it, but I can see it being annoying in the long run. Only thinking about League uh, every day, all mm. the time. So do you already do something to counter it? Like that you do something outside of League? Uh, I was always going out running. Mm. It's like nice break. Yeah, and good to exercise. But now we have this workout thing, so I guess mm. that's it. Yeah, but are you? Still and then I watch a lot of series, kind of to sh- calm down sometimes. And yeah, we we get to that later. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean that's why we put the running into the playoff video that we had uh, in the also, uh, in the last split. Yeah, and yeah, that's the story why he was running in the video. <laughs> uh, question number five would be: You can morph into a League of Legends champion in real life. Which champion would you choose and why? Hmm. I have no idea. Like think of something like who is good looking or who has like insane skills mm. in real life just for one day. Hmm. I don't know, like brand will be maybe lit up. Brand? You can like shoot fire and shit. I don't know. Don't you think they're gonna lock you up? Or hunt you the whole day? I guess. I mean, that's nice, no? So, so, so that you a fun will, day. So you will have like a real life GTA day. Yeah. Kind of day. All right. Um, I mean, there's lots of champions, but yeah. So, um, so t- tell me one more besides Brent. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Not a Wukong. No. <laughs> no. I mean, all champions I think of me in my head are kind of boring to be in real life, but yeah. Something that can do something interest yeah i mean finn and inspire so far they went for the good looking ones so set and set uh, graves yeah I mean, that's kind of boring i mean inspire wanted to be mafia graves he said that would be interesting but um yeah next question uh, number six when you prepare for a match do you have any rituals uh ki- kind of yeah uh, we always do briefing where like Three for three minutes in or mm. four minutes in uh, with an app uh, to like relax and I'll also do diving as we call it mm. like where I put my head in a bowl of water for like one minute mm. also to like calm down and I mean it, it gives some effects I, I don't know what but I like it yeah some sick psychological effects that I don't really know but I, I like it and that's kind of the things we do mm. So the diving thing, uh, did you start it when Isma came t- came to yeah. us? Okay. And what was th- when you did it the first time? What did you think about it? I mean, I like it. From the beginning, know. you didn't think it was a bit stupid, or no, 
I trust the, the psychology. Okay. And then uh, how, how does it feel like is like you dive into the water and then all your thoughts are gone or mm, sometimes chill? and sometimes not. Okay. When when you go into water you should try to just think about being in the water but sometimes you obviously think about other stuff. Mm. Okay, one question that was uh, where I'm curious about, you know, you get a makeup before, right? Yeah. So then you dive before the game. Is the makeup all off afterwards? No. Or? No. No. It uh, nothing. It I don't know. Makeup is staying. I don't know why, but. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that was something I was asking myself last time I saw it. Um, next question. Uh, what's your favorite music genre? Oof, I don't know. I like a lot of different yeah. music. But you listen to music before the games as well? Yeah, always. Mm. So is there like a favorite song right now that you like to listen to before the game? Uh, not really. So just just tell me one song like of, of your playlist. I mean, maybe we can guess the genre out of it. I don't have a specific playlist though. I Sometimes okay. I listen to some Spotify playlists. Sometimes I go to YouTube and listen to like old songs from... 2013 maybe like best songs from 2013 and I go to different playlists all the time and okay but like tell me one song one song just one song I don't know I mean it's different all the time I don't have a specific last week, song last week what was it like one song you remember that you listened to well, or you just or some Eminem song I think that Eminem I but uh, I don't know which so one. rap rap is something you would listen to yeah okay I listen to most stuff but mostly I guess rap and like uh radio music kind of okay english only or also swedish music uh, swedish as well but mm. mostly english i guess okay um next question number eight what's your favorite game of all time hmm. league of legends i mean that's what everyone answered yeah but besides league of legends i probably say modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2 really yeah. call of duty yeah because i played it with my friends when i was like 12 or something yeah and we always i mean it was really fun time and i really liked the game yeah but then spawn killing happened and it got really boring and so, hackers and stuff so could could you imagine yourself going into pro in call of duty hmm i mean if i put down the time yeah yeah did, did you follow any of the call of duty action of our call of duty team last weekend or no no, no. i haven't uh, played a game since uh -huh. uh, black ops 3 or something okay since the league took over Yeah, the funny thing is the the one of the players on the Call of Duty team rated. He plays a lot of League of Legends, and he always watches our games. Mm -hmm. So maybe you guys should connect. Like he gives you some tips for Call of Duty. But I guess you're not playing uh, it anymore. I don't care so. about Call of Duty anymore. Yeah. It was like when I was young. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's get to that later. Um, question number nine. I think that's the toughest one. Uh, imagine you are stranded on a lonely island. What three items would you take with you? Hmm. Something to clear water, no? Okay. So I can drink water. Uh, something to make a fire because I don't know how to make a fire, so a lighter, I guess. Okay. And. Uh, hmm. Like a knife or something, I guess. Pretty good answer. So I, I mean, can get my food. I can get my water and uh, my fire. I mean, it must be a Swedish thing because <laughs> you and Phil have pretty good answers. Uh, I I watched a lot of Robinson when I was young. Oh, okay, that's like my, <laughs> one of my favorite shows. So. Oh really? So th that's being on an island doesn't sound too bad. Sounds pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, you know what inspired answer? Something the, stupid. The, the kid, he's like, I'm gonna bring a laptop <laughs> and a phone. I think he said. Really? But, But he like, doesn't have any internet. Yes, and no electricity. Like where where is he gonna plug it in? But he was like, oh. But yeah, may maybe I should send him to you and you t teach him one or two things before he st gets stranded. Hopefully not needed. Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah, let's knock on wood. Do you do that in Sweden? Knock on wood? If you say something bad, then it's not no. going to happen? No? no. So it's a German thing? Yeah. Oh no, the English uh, speaking countries and also do it. People maybe do, but this it's cursed stuff, uh, I'm not into it. But is there like something similar that you just say in Sweden? No. I mean, maybe, but um, uh, we don't. Uh, okay. I don't, at least. Okay. Uh, the question number 10. Which key is best for flash, D or F? Uh, D, obviously. Okay. I, I don't know why, but... I think you're the first one to say D. Oh, the, both uh, 
vind een inspired set. I don't, think it ma- I don't think it matters at all, map. No. Yeah. Okay. F for flash kind of makes sense. D but for flash doesn't make as much sense. I mean, D, D for dash. Oh, I guess, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a dash. Well, yeah. Right. I don't really care about this. But uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, maybe you should look into what the win percentage is for players with D and which. What does Faker like have? Do you know? Uh, I think he has on F, but I'm not sure. Yeah. You should check it. Yeah. Maybe then you change it now. <laughs> I have it on D as well, so I'm not going to convince you to well, yeah. change that. But you're not uh, very good. You never saw me play. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, you're a good player. <laughs> all good, all good. Let's, let's move to a more interesting topic. So um, let's start with your career, you know? And like, I mean, a lot of people know you uh, as a rookie who came in now and uh, performed quite well. But uh, most people don't know your story, right? And I, I don't even think most of the, your teammates know your story. So um, let's talk about that, right? Um, how did you get into gaming, like in general? Well, I've always been gaming a lot with my brother. Uh, when I was young, I already started gaming. I think on Pokemon on Nintendo, I guess, was my first. Or a Game Boy or whatever Game it was Game called. Boy. Yeah, I was, We were always like, playing some games. And I mean, I, yeah, I started playing games when I was really young because my brother was like three years old, uh, older, three mm-hmm. years older. So he was kind of ahead of me. So I watched him play and yeah, I start, started kind of early with like uh, Pokemon and stuff like mm-hmm. this. I think I think it's always like this, right? The older brother plays and the younger just watches. Yeah. And then if he's done, you can play a bit, you know? Yeah. Um, so you only had one Game Boy? Uh or two we, did you get a, a, your, yourself a game we didn't boy? have a game boy actually i think so how did you play Pokemon? i mean our, some friends had game boy oh, okay and then we got nintendo pretty early like which one nintendo 64 or i don't know the first one i guess i don't know i mean the first one okay was like, not the first one the first one, you i mean so, that they play on and i don't know how, how did you pl- put the cartridge in like on the top or like you slide it in or I mean, how, did the, like, how yeah, did the controller you had look? it in your hand did you have the joystick already? Yeah. Then it was the Nintendo 64. Yeah. Is yeah, it probably was. It was like a T-shaped controller, you know? Yeah. And then... And you hold it like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then it's the Nintendo 64. Yeah. And then we got the computer pretty early as well, I think. Okay. I mean, our dad likes computer, so I guess that's why. But we had oh. a computer pretty early. So just one or you had your own? I got my own pretty early as well. Okay. And then what kind of games did you play on the PC? Hmm, like Age of Empires. Okay. Was the first, I think, maybe. Okay. And then it was like uh, COD, Call of Duty. On, on PC? Yeah. Not on the console? All that, that's uh, both, both. Okay. I played Xbox as well. Yeah, we had an Xbox. Actually, that's where we played a lot when I was young. Okay. Not Nintendo, it was mostly Xbox. Yeah. And you play Call of Duty on it, not like Halo or something like yeah, that? Yeah, we played Halo. That yeah. was like one of the first games. And like stores, play games. and mm-hmm. Yeah, so ha- Halo was pretty big, actually. So you grew up with shooters a lot? Yeah. So how did it transition to like League of Legends? Like uh, walk me through the games you played until then. Oof, but there's so many games. Okay, but then like, like Pokemon, the Age of Empires, mm. uh, COD. Uh, I think that's the three big ones. Okay, and then how did you end up in League of Legends? And then we had a friend who played League of Legends. Mm. Uh, Wait, then my a, fr- a friend of yours or a friend of your brother's? A friend of me and my brother. Okay. So you had like uh, comparable friends together? Yeah, it was two friends that we went skiing with when we were young, like mm-hmm. when we were kids. And that means since our pan- parents knew each other. Mm-hmm. So he played League and then my brother started playing League. And I was watching for quite a while, but then I started playing as well a little bit. Okay. How old were you th- uh, back then? I mean, it was when League came out really early. So, so like we, season one or better? Or? Yeah, like season one when I was 10 years old. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. you started playing League of Legends when you were 10? Yeah, kind of, or 11 okay. maybe. Okay. I mean, well, I didn't play that much back then, obviously. I was okay. I, I got introduced to it, but I didn't play much. I started playing much in like season four, season okay. f- Yeah, something like that. What about your brother? Did he grind it or? Yeah, he played as much as me, kind of. Okay, so who was better at the beginning? Hmm, I don't know. We, we're, we're always pretty even, pretty okay. even skill level, I would say. So, like, did you rank any anything in season one or season two or season three? Mm, season three, I think I was silver. Silver. Yeah. 
So it wasn't like you came in and got instant challenger. I mean, mm, it was kind of fast when I started. Well, started playing a lot. It yeah. took, I think, two three months f- to go from silver to diamond one. Okay. Or something like this. It was like really fast. How many games sp- did you spam in those three months? I think it was new season as well. I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. for, it was like three months. I went from gold five zero one to diamond something i think yeah okay well, was that your goal to get to challenger or did you like at low no, goals at first like, i just played just and played. it was fun okay and my brother played as well and friend played it was okay. just fun and yeah i just i don't know it just happened so th- did you do q or sometimes yeah i okay. think mostly i played solo so did you play most of those games in like a break or was it like during school i think it was during break yeah yeah and then um did your brother also got challenger when you got challenger uh yeah he was kind of with me all the time okay like same elo yeah. he, he's also high elo okay and um uh, where, where were you playing back then to get to challenger what i was playing mm. which role i uh, mean like said fist okay, this so broken you, champs back then so you abused them yeah to the maximum and your brother played like what did role did he play on not sure yeah, or you played everything. Or I played everything. I think. Okay. Yeah. Um. So your friends around you. I mean, your brother was pretty high elo, right? Yeah. Were your friends like also really high elo? Or? Uh, no, not really. Well, I had my brother had one friend who was kind of high elo, but yeah, he was pretty high elo, like diamond mm-hmm. one as well. Uh, but rest was kind of noobs. So you d- stopped playing with them, or? What yeah, did you do? I mean, I mostly okay. played solo. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then we. Play together sometimes with friends like uh, LAN or something like this. Okay. Um, how much of an impact did your brother had for you to go like challenger? Hmm. And maybe even later on to become pro. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't play the game if it wasn't for my brother, probably. Mm. Uh. And since he played it a lot and also like ranked up with me, I guess it motivated. I mean, it's like nice to rank up for brother, kind of. Mm. But I mean, how old were you when you were challenger? Like, like 12, 13? 13? Like, yeah. And, and, and of my 13, almost 14. Yeah. And um, last week we shot the video with the nicknames and you said you weren't that nice of a summoner. Yeah, I was a really annoying kid. <laughs> like toxic like, or just annoying? I mean, not really that toxic. I yeah. mean, kind of toxic, but just really annoying. Like when people made mistakes, I was always like writing like, chat and... Uh, I mean, yeah. you couldn't spam pings back then. Oh, so I was spamming a shot instead. <laughs> and then you, did you roll in like Swedish or was your English already? Oh, English. Fine? I mean, it's Sweden, right? Everything yeah, was and I played a lot English. of games, right? When I was uh, mm. younger, so I was kind of good at English. Okay. And um, uh, that account, the first one that you had, was that the one that was already Challenger? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't... Oh, you just name changed. You didn't. Yeah, it's name changed. Okay. I, I thought Because uh, I didn't uh, like the name because... It was kind of a bad reputation, I think. And yeah, I thought you created like a new account, but yeah, you, do, you could just name change. Yeah. And well, I guess you started really early, so you always stayed on EU West, right? You yeah. never went to EU Northeast. Yeah. Okay. Th- didn't they force you like after uh, they split the servers or was the account uh, automatically I don't know. EU West? I, don't, I can't remember. The I name. don't know. I split on EU West. Uh, also. Yeah. And in North East was new server, right? So. Mm. So when you were like 12, 13, I mean, esports already started, right? Like the whole uh, EU LCS and everything. Did you follow yeah. it at all? Or Yeah, I follow it a lot. Okay. I watch a lot with my brother. And yeah, I follow it since uh, the start, like season three summer. I started watching, I think. Mm. My brother was a dream hack watching it live as well. Okay. So, yeah. Like the uh, world championship in season one or? No, season three. Like okay. EU LCS was a dream hack uh, first week, I think. So he was okay. there watching and oh. from then I've kind of watched all the time. Okay. Why didn't you bring bring you with him? Uh, he went with his friend. Oh. Was, yeah. did, you, did you also play uh, in Dreamhack or just visit it? Uh, play, I guess. I mean, it's a land, right? Where yeah, you sit yeah. and you play can, with you your can, friends. Yeah, you can uh, get like a spot to play. Yeah, better. exactly. You, like put your computer and then just play. So you never went to Dreamhack? No. Nope. Really? Kind of oh. sad. We, we should go. It's really fun. Yeah. I, uh, we just get a well, booth and yeah. then get our Swedish players there. I mean, Finn wasn't there either. Yeah. And I've been like six times, I think. It's really fun. You should go. Yeah, I should. Uh, but it's kind of hard. I mean, summer is big, right? Dreamhack, mm, but I'm playing be- then. N- no, before it was winter. 
was the main event. Oh. And then they added summer, but nowadays it doesn't even matter anymore. Like winter mm-hmm. and summer are like right. almost the same. Uh, and I guess summer is a bit nicer, right? Yeah. The city. Because it's a really beautiful city with a huge lake and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the topic. So, uh, and it wasn't that far, right? It was like two hours, three hours, right? Yeah. From, uh, Something wherever, like this. Wherever you are. <laughs> but um, okay, so besides gaming, you also had like a lot of like sports things going on, right? Yeah. Like you played a lot of football? Yeah. Mm, and talk about that. I mean, I always play a lot of sports. Okay. What kind of sports? Like, yeah. Uh, Table tennis, I played a lot. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, football, obviously. Uh, floorball, which most people don't know what it is, but it's a kind of ne- second biggest sport in Sweden, or third biggest mm-hmm. after like uh, horses and football. I think in Germany we call it uni hockey. It's like uh, hockey in a hall, right? Yeah, it's like, like ice hockey, gym. but not on ice. Yeah, it's on, like in a gym and then like with a plastic uh, stick, right? Yeah, exactly. And then the ball is not a, like it's not a puck. It's like yeah, it's a like, uh, white ball. Yeah, it was really soft. Yeah. And you were good in that? Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, nothing special, right? But yeah. I'm pretty good at sports. Okay, so uh, when you were younger, did you have like any thinking like, hey, I want to be a professional football player like every kid? Or was there like something else you wanted to do? I mean, obviously when I was young, I want, I mean, maybe when I was 10 years old, I was like, oh, I want to be a professional football player. But that dream kind of disappeared fast. I mean, so hard, right? I was kind of realistic. Okay. But would you say you had like a talent for football? Mm, not really. I mean, I was pretty good at it, but uh, I knew I wouldn't uh, ever become like good mm. enough. How long did you play? Like from which age to age? Maybe when I was like, when I was really young, two years, maybe three years old. And then you start playing. When did you start playing football? Yeah, when I was like three years old, maybe. Or four years. No, you, you started, but when did you start? Oh, stop. I mean, I'm still playing. When I'm home, I'm playing. Okay, but I mean in the like a club environment and like real training and stuff. Yeah, like I mean, when I'm home, I'm playing in my club. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I mean, I stopped playing when I moved to Germany, right? Because I'm mm. in Germany. Okay. But whenever I'm home, like now when I was home during off-season, I was mm. playing with my club again. Oh, really? Since it's all my friends and, uh, I mean, the coaches, I know them and everything. Does our team management know? <laughs> yeah. Don't break your wrist, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know? My wrist, I'm playing with. I'm playing with my hand. Yeah, but I don't if you fall. I don't my foot in league. What if you fall? I mean... Uh, I mean, in professional sports, you know that they al- don't allow athletes to play like other sports. <laughs> it makes sense, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, as long as nothing happens. But um, did did you have, like, former teammates who made it, like, really big in football? Like, playing mm. the first or second no, not, division? No. No? no. no? Nobody? I have, like, my uh, friend's uh, brother plays in uh, Union Berlin, here in Berlin. Your what? My you friend's uh, brother. Okay. Is uh, plays here in Berlin in okay. the Union Berlin, who is like plays in the Bundesliga. Oh yeah. So I guess that's the closest I know. But were you like kind of close to him or not at all? No, not at all. Okay. I mean, I'm really close to my friend. Okay. So that's why I followed his brother's here in a bit. So, so it's pretty funny. I'm here in Berlin while he's here as well. So, but you never met so far. No. You should. You should go to a game. Yep. Yeah. As as for tickets, I come with you. Yes. <laughs> When does Union, we need to go to the derby uh, Union Berlin against Hertha BSC Berlin yeah and it, I mean the Berlin stadium is quite close to us I think the second game is in this stadium and not the other one so yeah Let, let's figure this out yes. <laughs> um, okay so um, but when did this dream like die of being like a professional football player I'm pretty young I mean, maybe I was 12. I mean, I never really, I mean, I, I'm a kind of realistic uh, human being. Okay. So when I was like 12 or 11, I was like, uh, I mean, I, if you need, if you want to become really good in football, you need to practice like every day. Mm. And uh, that's not something I wanted to. Okay. Like every day and dedicating your life was not something I wanted. So, I mean, mm. yeah, I was just playing for fun, really. So what did you want to do? What was your dream after that? I didn't have any dream, really. Oh, do you want to do like something with school or stuff like that? Um, I mean, I didn't think, I don't think most kids okay. think. I mean, you just start, uh, go to school and enjoy your life, I guess. Okay. Then let's get back to gaming. So you became a challenger, right? Yeah. Uh, you told me you f- followed esports. How was it to play like against, I guess, uh, L- L- ULCS players back then? 
Like was it like were you like starstruck or yeah. did you like try harder? I, I was pretty starstruck and really try hard when I met them. Okay. And like uh, really nice to them. Yeah, so you were n not annoying. <laughs> no, when I, there was like LC, uh, L U L C S players in the game, I was always really nice. But when they were okay. not, I was not very nice. So you, you play like re really try hard and yeah. Did you give away your lane? Give were away my lane. Were you that nice? I mean, you you probably only played mid lane, right? Yeah. So did you give like your lane? Oh to yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Really, always. always. <laughs> if there was, if it was someone else, I would always give my lane too. Okay, like even if it's not a pro. Or no, just if pros? it was like someone who was like semi-pro, I mean, kind of known. Okay, so you gave it away. Yeah, I mean, I also wanted Elo, right? So, okay. so uh, if I knew it was a good player, I would give him my lane and just go off roll. Because mm. uh, I was uh, kind of Elo firsty. I wanted what, to. What climb. was your off roll? Hmm, kind of anything. Okay. Uh, uh, But was there like another role that you really liked to no, play? No, I played every role, okay. I think. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Uh, was there like a role that you were better at than the other three roles? Mm, pretty good on AD carry, I would say. AD carry. Yeah. Everyone plays AD carry in this team. I mean, it's really fun. I think. <laughs> who was the best AD carry in this team? Probably Hansama, maybe. I mean, besides Hansama. And also that uh, probably me because I'm a mid lane. I'm more talented than okay. like a young or support, I think. But you know that Vendor used to be an ADC as well. Yeah, right? but he's still uh, he's too old. You say? Yeah, he's too too old <laughs> and supportive. <laughs> All right. Don't think has the mechanics to be better than me. So, um, which pro was like your favorite? Like, which was the pro mm. you looked up to back then? Bjorkson a lot, I would say. Okay, but he didn't play that much here. So you followed LCS as well, NA LCS. Yeah, I watch also NA. Okay. I watch a lot of TSM, I guess. So, mm. so did you? Yeah, I kind of liked TSM when I was mm. younger. Uh oh. Like okay. watching the old one, the old one stream a lot. And okay. yeah. So what do you think about the rogue TSM meme as a former TSM fan? Hmm, that's a pretty nice meme. Yeah. So would it be like bittersweet to beat them? If you meet well, it them. would be nice to beat them because yeah. I always had uh, uh, something for TSM when I was younger. So I always don't care anymore, but mm. it would be pretty nice. Would it be special to play against Bjergs in a professional match for you? Mm, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, back if, if it was like three years ago, I would say it would be uh, special. But mm -hmm. now I'm, uh, I think I'm better than him anyway, so I don't really mind. Okay. Um, Was there like any pros that you met in Solo that were like really nice or that you really like to play with? Besides maybe Bjergsen. Hmm. Reckless also nice to play with because okay. he was uh, a machine in Solo before. He was, uh, yeah. if you had him in your team, it was kind of free win. Okay. And he was Swedish? Yeah, he was Swedish as well and really big player. So I guess, yeah. So th were you like in contact with players? Did you add them and like hope they added you back? Yeah, of course. And uh, did like any of them edit you back? Yeah, like, quite a chat? few edit me back. Okay. So you, like the ones who play right now, which of them do you have like personal relationships like back from the I mean, I didn't really have any personal relationship with okay. anyone, but kind of just chatted with a few, I guess. Okay. I mean, it was nothing special. Do you do you think the players like, like Reckless who are so long in this league already know that it was you back then or? I think Reckless remembers me because I was like okay. Swedish and... Okay. I had him on friend list, I think, mm. like in season five and stuff. Yeah. Did you talk to him yet in like uh, in the studio? Yeah. Yeah. He's a really nice guy. I think. So. Okay. Um, that's cool. So besides Bjergsen, there was no like any other player that you looked up to. I don't know someone like. Frog not really, no. No. It was, it was kind of Bjergsen, but it's not like I looked up to anyone a lot. Okay. But if it was someone to be like Bjergsen. Yeah. But was there like a? EU LCS mid laner that you always looked up like uh, not like looking up like a star but like look up what what he built and how he played mm, perks I guess I mean besides Bjergs and since he was in perks. NA oh perks yeah okay because it was also really good mm. so are, are you happy that he's back on mid lane yeah it's pretty nice yeah I mean you already played him was it was it a good feeling or mm, I don't think about it really mm. okay So yeah, you just play your game. Yeah, I mean, I play. Uh, it's not like I think about this stuff too much. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, I mean, the one story that we try to build, or I mean, a lot of people, I think, uh, wanted you in, on their teams after you played in HK. Okay, we were jumping ahead. So let, let's start about your pro career first. Okay? Yeah. So, like, at what point did you think, 
hey, uh, this could be a career for me. Hmm. Probably back in season six when I joined my first real team or like season five. Okay. I played some Swedish lands in season five and season six. I joined the UK Lee. Okay. Was it like offline lands or on like? On uh, it was I mean, offline lands. Okay. The Swedish ones were offline lands and the UK League was online, but uh, playoffs is offline. Mm-hmm. So it was a pretty cool flying to England stuff when I was 15, 16. D- didn't you play with your brother in one team? Yeah, in, uh, it was back in the day, like season four. Okay. But we, were, we weren't really that good, our team. Okay. It was like my kind of first team playing in rank, the ranks five. Mm. So. Okay, so uh, then you went you went around the Swedish league, right? Playing yeah. Against other people. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone in that circuit that is still playing like in the LC now? Hmm. Was Finn in that or? No, Finn is a new player. Okay. Uh, uh, not really, no. Okay. It was like Clyback and mm. Promise Q, I guess, was playing. Okay. I met him at the land in season five. Okay. And then he joined L- LEC. But everyone was much older than you, right? Yeah. I was like really young, like 15, 14 when I went to my first lands. 14, so, I think. So yeah. were people like surprised when they met you for the first time? Wow, this kid is so young. I didn't knew he was that young. Hmm. Not sure. Okay. I mean, I didn't have any experience like this. But. D- did you went with your brother or just by yourself? By myself, yeah. Okay. And your parents were like fine. They were like, uh, just go or yeah, really. And it was all paid, or did you have to pay yourself? Uh, some were paid and some were not. Okay. Okay. So you played those lands. Yeah. Uh, you kept grinding solo queue. Yeah. Uh, what was like your first semi- like your first team where you got money for playing? It was uh, Mana Light in season six in the UK League. I okay. got a small, small seller, which was really cool for me because if I were like 15, 16, then mm-hmm. getting a small salary is like pretty big because mm-hmm. you don't really get any money. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And from there, it just went up. Did you, did you tell your friends, hey, I'm making money with gaming? I mean, they knew about it, yeah. Okay. What what did they say? Like, oh, that's so cool? Or Yeah, the photo was really cool. Yeah. Um, and um, okay, from that UK team, keep going like how, how did you end up mm. where you are right now the thing is i was in school always so in uh, i could never join really spanish league uh, when i had offers so you got a lot of offers in that regard or yeah i mean i got some decent offers but i could never like join any better team than uk league because that would make me move to another country mm. and uh, i don't think it's worth to move to spain and get like 600 okay. euro a month uh, to quit school Okay, but the UK League didn't have any offline events back then? Yeah, they had offline events in playoffs, so you kind of just went over a weekend. Okay. But the Spanish teams got gaming houses really early. Mm-hmm. So I think it kind of delayed my career because I was forced to play in uh, Nordic teams or UK teams because mm-hmm. I had school, so I couldn't really move to a gaming house. So I was okay. playing in lower tier teams. And you n- it never crossed your mind to quit school and just pursue this? Or? No. Uh, no. I kind of was set on finishing school. I always thought set on finishing school. I was like okay. counting uh, season nine would be my season because that's when I would uh, finish school. Mm. And that I dreamed of playing like in EULSS or LFC now when I uh, was done with school in season nine and that worked out. So that's pretty nice. Uh, back to that. Uh, you also had a plan for season 10, right? Yeah. Or, or was that? Which the season 10 is right now. No. I mean, that season 10 would be my season, right? Because it's my first full season without uh, school or anything. Mm. So are, are we in season ten right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they changed the they changed it to two thousand the the date anymore, right? Before it was like season one, two, three, four. Yeah, and now it's season just, ten. No, they just call it uh, twenty twenty. At least twenty really? twenty. Yeah. They don't I mean, they call it season ten anyway. No, in solo queue and. Yeah, um, in solo queue. Yeah. Yeah. Not like so it's still season. It's season ten. Okay, but was season one of LCS season one in solo queue? I don't think so. No, so you season one in ELCS was season three in solo queue, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, uh, so yeah, season ten in solo queue terms. So yeah, this year. But yeah, like, what did you say? You had like a dream. I remember you told me about this. Like, you had a dream that you go to Worlds in season ten or something like that. Yeah, I mean that season ten would be like my season because mm. it's my first full season without school or anything else, mm. where I can like only so, play league. So you already had that imagined at yeah, age. Yeah, I did. I was like kind of worried in back in season four. I was like. Or what if league is dead when I'm uh, finishing school? Because that mm-hmm. would be pretty sad, right? Because mm-hmm. I would dedicate a lot of time to league and then it would die when I would finally be able to play pro. But mm-hmm. league is still really strong, which makes me happy. 
So that thought, like the thought of finishing school, was it something that you had for yourself or was it like your parents told you, hey, you need to finish school? It was kind of for myself, I would say. Yeah. Okay, it never crossed your mind. Like, I mean, you told me like you were scared that maybe League is dead by then, right? Yeah. Then you had like any doubts like or any thoughts, hey, if I no don't take this opportunity right now, it's going to be gone when in season 10 the game is dead. Mm, yeah, a bit I had it. I hate I had a thought a bit, but mm. I mean, if if it's dead by season uh, nine anyway, then it wouldn't be worth to quit school anyway, right? Okay, yeah, that's so right. yeah. Okay, so then you played UK league um, until season seven. Season seven, I played in Challenger series on the summer split. Mm. So that was pretty big because Challenger series was. How old uh, were you then? Seventeen. Seventeen. So you could play. I just got already. seventeen. Yeah. Okay. That was pretty big because Challenger Series was uh, level below LCS, right? Okay. What team was that? Winner Rain. Winner Rain. And we went to playoffs. I played with Woolite, who I played with uh, last year. Oh, so you met Woolite back then already? Yeah. Did you met him personally? Yeah. Okay. And then we played against the. Uh, uh, in playoffs, we played against the Giants team, with who then became Vitality. Okay. Who went towards Yisuk and Gilius in this. And they beat you? Yeah, we got stomped. Okay, and then uh, that was the final game before they went to. Yeah. Relegation, uh, right? No, they went to uh, they, yeah, they went to the relegation tournament. Okay. And then they went to LCS. So I mean, what would have happened if you made it to uh LCS with that team? Because you Ooh. still have the problem I mean, with the school. I, I mean what uh I was thought was if I have the opportunity to play an EULCS I would consider it. Okay. So I don't know what I would choose. Yeah, so you didn't think about it before it happened? No. But you, you you were aware of the problem, right? If you, if I go LCS yeah, yeah, with this squad, I need to. Yes, school. I was kind of worried about it. Okay, so were you a little bit relieved when you lost? Yeah, I was. <laughs> really? Yes, I think so. <laughs> and okay, it took the this decision back like, away from you. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I was relieved, but okay. I didn't really care it that much because mm -hmm. I knew I can't want to finish school anyway. Mm. So it's not like I cared super much if we make it uh, a win or not, which mm. some other people do probably because they were. Uh, not in school or anything else, mm. they just wanted to play league only. Mm. But you were still try-harding, right? Yeah, it wasn't of course. Like yes, of course. Trying I was trying for my life, but okay. it's not, I don't think I cared as much as mm. other people because I knew I had school anyway. Mm. Okay, then the next step, what was that then? And was it NIP already? or? Yeah, and then it uh, went kind of south after Wind and Rain because uh, I got a lot of uh, offers. Uh, great offers, right? Mm. LCS like offers? No. Okay. But the uh, tier below that, like the best national league teams, like Mad Lions, I think, and stuff like this. Mm. But I couldn't join any good team because all that game is house of red. Mm. And I didn't want to quit for uh, this. So then I went back to UK League again because that's the only league I could play. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to like win the UK and then play EU Masters because that was the way for me since I could play from home. Mm. What UK team was that? Uh, Diablos Esports. Okay. And I played with Cadwell and stuff but okay. it went really bad but luckily we got picked up uh, by nip for your masters mm. and then i was pretty lucky that this happened i think because then i could show myself at your masters and then i played with nip uh, for the summer again so wait you didn't qualify for your masters no and then they just picked you up before yeah. the your masters and they kicked the players who brought them to your masters the nmp yeah no they had a spot from uh, challenge series okay like the teams like win and rain and the uh, okay. teams in Challenger Series mm -hmm. got a free spot in the first year Masters. Because there was no relegation, right? Anymore. Because yeah, it was exactly. clear with franchising and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. And um, what was that NRP team? Because Finn was on that too, right? It was Finn, yeah. Okay. Finn was, was a rookie. We, we needed a top player desperately because we didn't find any top player. So okay. we just looked at solo queue and we found the Finn. Yeah. It was the only top player. If we didn't find Finn, I'm not sure what would happen with that team actually. Okay. Because we didn't find a top player at all. So I'm really happy we found Finn. So it was it like a desperate choice? Yeah, it was a pretty desperate <laughs> choice. He was playing with a Swedish team who are pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. So he left it, luckily. But, did, yeah, but it, did you know him from solo queue? or? Not really. I barely knew who it was. I thought he was like a one-trick led. Okay, so it didn't look great to me, right? <laughs> but like this, this guy who I barely know who is a one-trick led, uh, yeah. why would he take this guy? But we literally didn't find any other guy. So we had to take Finn. <laughs> and then... Um, First, did you know he was Swedish at the beginning or? Uh, I kind of realized on his name, Blomsterfin. It's kind of okay. Swedish name. 
Okay, so uh, then you start playing scrims with him or something like that? Yeah. Did you like connect really fast or? Not really, no. Okay. He But was... you were, were you surprised by his performance? Uh, or I mean, was he was he... playing pretty well for considering being completely new. Okay. But he was not that great, no. Okay, so then you went with him to... No, he went, went to Movie Star Riders and I No, 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 in. but in the EU Masters. You oh. went quite far. We went to quarterfinals uh, and then we met Origin. Mm -hmm. And we should have won this series against Origin. Uh, first game we were 10k goal ahead but uh, we had three and hips the uh, region had three and hips down as well mm. and Nash was spawning but uh, this Finn guy got <laughs> caught uh, he just randomly got caught when <laughs> we were gonna go Nash and win the game because I had three and hips down right yeah but then he gets caught and then uh, region takes Nash and then the match was stalled the three and hips because they had Nash and then we lost the first game and then we won the second so it should be a 2-0 right mm. but then we lost a series 2-1 which was really sad Because it would be pretty big to go to win yeah. against the region and go to land finals like for personal branding. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty sad. But and we still did really well considering. Yeah. Okay, so your team was Finn, Kadrill, you, who else was Extra Smiley and Hustle and Beast. Okay. That's a Beast. really Swedish team. Hustle and Beast. Hustle and Beast. <laughs> um, but um, can you tell me tell us the roster of the Origin squad again? Because I was know forgiven, it. yes, is Frogan, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Insect. It was really bad. Yeah. And expect. But were you disappointed by Insect since he has his own play named Not after really. Him? I mean, no. Did, did Kedril, Kedril was young man? Yeah, he was his first uh, time as young. Like, he played young one month. And it was after HOK, right? Yeah. But wait, then before N NIP you played in HOK or not? Or was it afterwards? Uh, before, it was afterwards. It okay. was uh, during NIP actually. Wait. During the summer. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> so you subbed into HTK? Uh, during the summer split. So that was before Season EO eight. Masters? That was after EU Masters and okay. there, it was between two EU Masters, isn't it? Okay, so Kedro was mid laner in HK. He But this was, was after this. So he went back to mid lane? No. Okay, it wait, was wait, wait, season 8, spring. Yeah. So Kedro was playing in HK. Yeah. And I played in this UK team. But then Kedro uh, got kicked and he rolled to Yangle. So then mm. Kedro started playing in this UK team with me mm. because he swapped to Yangle. Mm. And then we played uh, EU Masters together. Okay. And then he went to a French team and then he got picked up by HUK again mm. as a youngler. And then I played one okay, week okay, in HUK. Okay. So how was that? But uh, I, I was playing in NIP during the time I played okay. with HUK. So the, the, from NIP you went to HUK, right? W did Kedro play a part in that? That you got picked up? Or? Mm, not sure. Okay. So wh how they contacted you? I mean, the manager of HUK just contacted me and asked if I could play one week or two because Self was uh, injured. Mm. So yeah. And, and then you, Nip allowed me to uh, go and play because mm. I wouldn't miss any official games with Nip in the Nordic League. What about school? Oh, well, it was summer break. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So you took that opportunity. So it was your first time in LCS, right? Yeah. Um, you did fairly good, right? Because they picked up the first win with you. Yeah, they pretty well, I would say. Yeah. They were like 12 but we mm. managed to win a game. So it was pretty nice. So how important was that moment, you think, for your career? I mean, uh, I didn't really care that much either. No, you didn't care, but I mean like in... in yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. I didn't really care that much either, but now when I think about it, it was probably pretty big. Mm. I mean, it was really good branding, right? To show yeah. my name and then uh, show my name there in uh, mm. HUK and win a game. And then uh, after that, play Masters and show my name again and go to finals there. I think it was pretty big mm. for my career. The, and for you personally, did it like lit up a fire in you that you want to stay where you were? Hmm. Because I mean, you got to really. taste I always had my plan, like okay. to finish school. So your plan, you were like stuck on this plan. I, just I mean, I, I guess a little bit. Mm. But I mean, I always wanted to play in LSE, right? Like mm. a lot. And you guys says a lot after I finished school. Mm. So I always had this dream anyway. Mm. So it's not like something changed. I mm. just kept going for that dream. Mm. Um, as a viewer, I mean, for me, I think for everyone, it was like before everyone just watched an LCS. Didn't care too much about EU LCS, right? But at one point, people just switched and I just watched EU LCS. Uh, was that a point, like what point in your, or which season you just were like, okay, NA is giga bad. <laughs> I should just watch a, a EU LCS. Mm. Was there like a specific time or did you follow both leagues? At the I followed both leagues a lot. Mostly okay. EU LCS though, since I'm European. Mm. Uh, but I guess in like season eight, when I, when I got good as a player, mm. when I uh, started to learn the game like a lot, mm. I realized how bad NA is. So I kind of stopped watching it. How did you learn a game? 
I mean, just through playing it with a lot of teams, I guess. So I just improved solo. Okay. But not through solo queue, right? Because it's not the I same I mean, solo queue as well, no? Okay, but it's not like you learn the macro and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, mostly through teams, yeah. Because mm-hmm. you start thinking about the way uh, the game in a different mm-hmm. way when you play on a team. Was there any favorite EU LCS team then? Did you had like mm-hmm. one team that you no. like to watch? Nope. G2 maybe? Nothing special, no. Okay. Um, all right, and then, yeah, I guess after the split was franchising already, right? Yeah. And um, based on your performance, HUK, I assume they were... And masters uh, yeah. EU masters Mostly EU masters I think. Yeah, but I I think H two K the the two weeks were really it was one crucial. Week, but yeah. Okay, one week. Two but, games. But yeah, but you. I mean, it was good to show me and then show me any monsters. It's like. But I mean, it's a big question uh, for teams, right? If they take good rookies from EU Masters, I mean, this split is a yeah like, exception because yeah. everyone's like, okay, well, you're gonna be the next rogue. Um, but people were like, hey, should we take a rookie and see how he performs in LCS, right? And you perform like really yeah, well. Yeah, performed pretty well. So I guess that gave them confidence to take me. Yeah, I think that's like a, a big factor. Yeah. Right? And I guess you got quite a lot of us, right? In that in that peri- in that break. I got a few, yeah. LCS. Not just like in LCS. I got like a few in LCS. Just Europe or also NA? Uh, Europe. So you didn't get any NA offers. I was interested, but I didn't get any concrete. Okay. And then uh, you obviously had the thing with the school, right? Yeah. So was it like off the table from the go- get-go that L- you won't join the LCS team? Wait, that again? Like, was it like clear from the start that since you wanted to finish school, right? And you had yeah. this plan in mind um, that you will not accept any LCS offers? Or like LEC? LEC, then? you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, back then it was already mm, No, LEC. it was not clear. I was uh, really stressed this period mm-hmm. because... I was really unsure what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go to LSE and play, or if I wanted to kind of flip it and not mm-hmm. and uh, play one uh, spring uh, spring in academy and then hope that I get a spot in summer. Mm-hmm. So I mean, when I think about it, it was pretty probably pretty stupid that I didn't take uh, the offer because I could have finished school. It was, I had a half year right uh, left at school, mm-hmm. so, and I probably could have finished it uh, later at some point really easily. Mm-hmm. And uh, you might uh, only get one shot at LSE. Like if you get offer and then maybe you don't get it again. Mm. But I mean, it worked out really good for me, uh, per- perfectly for me, since uh, Rogue was so fucking bad in spring. So uh, it was pretty easy. Okay. But um, getting back to your offers. Yeah. Was the Rogue offer different than all the other offers? Uh, the Rogue, uh, since I was playing Academy during spring, and the Rogue had a very good Academy team. I mean, so, before the spring, before you even joined the academy team, yeah, was the rogue offer different than the other teams offer? No, I mean that's what I'm saying. That their academy team was way better. That's why I, you went to rogue. Okay. Because I was not gonna play with uh, an academy during spring. Mm. And if I played in a bad team during spring, I think it would be pretty bad like, mm. for me personally. And but uh, I mean, it was kind of planned, right? In summer, we're gonna pull you up anyways and let you challenge for the spot, right? That's yeah, I was gonna said. challenge for the spot, right? But said, if what? I took. Uh, offer immediately and didn't fi- and mm. left school i would have a guaranteed spot right yeah but now it was kind of you're gonna fight for the spot mm. but i mean did any other teams made that same offer like a yeah in springs where you go academy and then summer yeah. you go to lvc yeah that i can yeah that i can shell for a spot in summer okay it was not only rogue okay but the rogue roster was really appealing to you yeah that kind of roster but what, what was what was already in place before you joined right what did you say like the roster which, which academy players were like kind of signed already before you joined? Uh, Blue Light, Inspired, Vander. Okay, and you knew all three of them? Uh, I mean, I knew Blue Light, and I obviously know Vander because I watched a lot of ELCS. Okay. I didn't really know Inspired, mm. when I, and, but I knew Finn very well, and I wanted him to team a lot. Yeah. So I just liked the team a lot. So because he said, because they were, we were also looking for a top lane, or, or they, you had the like privilege to choose the top laner yeah or how what did that yeah like? kind of i think i since uh rogue uh, trusted me a lot i would say mm. and i mean believed in me a lot i think they helped me with i mean they took blue against coach as well who was swedish mm. they took finn who was all swedish so i mean i definitely had an impact on getting finn okay so yeah did blue, blue uh, so you also had an impact that blue Megan got on the yeah, team as well. yeah, I think so. Yeah. So did Bloomigan no, knew Finn? Yeah, he okay. also wanted Finn. Okay. So you guys, we had like three Swedish people and three Polish people. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how did that work out? Like, I, I think you guys meshed 
quite well yeah. and quite fast, right? Yeah, there was no issues. Now, even though you had some kind of a break, right? Because you didn't play the first weeks. I didn't? No, no they couldn't split oh, with yeah, you. Oh, yeah, I was in uh, Sri Lanka on a uh, vacation for okay. two weeks. So they played with another millionaire. Okay. Was that an issue at all or not at all? No, no, there was no issue, I would say. Okay. Was, was it just scrims or also league? It was also only scrims. Okay. I missed like a media day in Poland, which was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. But you were at the Christmas thing, right? Yeah. B before Christmas? Yeah. Where you meet Inspired the first time? Yeah. Was it, no, you met Woolite the first time? No, you met Woolite before. How about Vander, since you said you watch a lot of L LCS? What was like your impression of Vander before? Hmm. I thought uh, he would be kind of a hard guy. I mean, mm -hmm. but he's like a real, uh, I thought, I mean, yeah, he could look kind of like kind of a hard guy, but when I met him, he was like really nice and really funny. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So you were surprised by how he was acting. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, the team had great success, right? Yeah, it went won, pretty well. Won Ultra Liga uh, and then EU Masters happened. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I forgot about it. <laughs> so you guys lost, right? Yeah. First first round, I think. Yeah, we went out in group stage in the Masters when we kind of thought we would win the whole thing pretty easily, I thought, mm. and then we just went out. I mean, you lost to the winner of the whole thing, right? Uh, doesn't Technically. matter. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess you already said, luckily, the Rogue roster was kind of bad in spring, right? Yeah. But what would have happened like, if they were kind of decent or good, and then you guys fail like this in your Masters? I mean, it's like... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I would still contest from midland spot. Mm. But the others probably wouldn't get in. I'm there. not sure about the others. Mm. So I mean, uh, since my deal when I almost kind of mm. uh, playing academy in spring and then summer you'll have opportunity to, to fight for a spot. Mm. And yeah. was it like at one point a goal of the team to go up together? When the main squad was doing so yes, bad, yeah. I think, yeah, it was. So it kind of became their goal, yeah. So you were like, hey, if I go up, we want you guys go as well. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, so you guys had like great teamwork already, right? Um, what's really important in the league, I guess nowadays is also like the mid jungle uh, synergy, right? Yeah. How how would you describe your relationship and synergy with Inspire? That's pretty good. I would say we're pretty like uh, uh, view the game kind of similar, mm -hmm. and it's pretty smart. So mm -hmm. it's not the guy who just takes random fights all the time, and I'm not that guy either. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so based on this split. You are the mid laner with the least jungle pressure from your own jungle. Yeah, I mean, it was the same last bit. Okay. So is that like a call from you or is it a call from him that he's not going to pressure your lane? I think he's most, I mean, I think our bot lane takes a lot of uh, attention. Okay. So I think it's spent a lot of time there and he's not really the type of jungler who perma ganks and mm -hmm. uh, perma ganks a lane. He's playing it more like mm -hmm. uh, smart, I would say. Okay. Um, yeah, a bit more slow, maybe. Mm. And I mean, you, you win the lane anyways, <laughs> yeah. without pressure. So I guess he doesn't need to vary. Um, but yeah, then you went up. Summer split. Actually, if you look at the regular season, it wasn't that good, right? It was like kind of balanced. I think, uh, what did we end up in summer split? Uh, we went 7-11, yeah. which is pretty bad. But we still <laughs> went uh, fifth uh, in the rankings. Yeah, and we got into a playoffs, obviously, yeah. right? Um, but just looking at the summer split, you get you think you guys grew a lot in in this seven eleven split? Yeah, I mean, from the at the start we played really bad on stage. I would say mm -hmm. we still played pretty good on screams, but on stage we played pretty bad, like not with confidence. Mm -hmm. But at the end we played a lot more with confidence. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the thing that changed. And then uh, playoffs. I mean, we had this. Huge win against Blast, right? Yeah. Imagine we wouldn't have that win. You think people would still be as hyped about the squad? No, as? definitely not. Yeah. Since we went 7-11, which is not that good. Mm. We didn't really perform that well during the regular season. But then we stomped Blast, and mm. that obviously gave a lot of echo. Yeah. And then the Schalke game happened. I guess we need to talk about it. Uh, and you had like your corky package, your infamous yeah. corky package. Um. I think some people were kind of worried that it's going to change you as a player, I think, uh, from the outside. Um, if I have a weak mental, maybe it will. Yeah. But um, 
did it bother you at all like i mean obviously at the beginning you were pissed right yeah i was not really just, sad not just not just sad for you but obviously for your teammates yeah as well, right? i mean we could go really far i felt like probably neighbor worlds mm. we had a really good shot uh well this cork play i played well during the series and there was one big mistake and I kind of lost this game because we would have won it. But there was like two other games where I played well and uh, we didn't lose because of me. There's like one game out of three. It's not like mm. it affected me that much. I was really sad at start because if we won the Corky game, we'll probably win the series and go to Athens. But it's not something I think about. Right now, I just kind of laugh at it because mm. it's like so fucking stupid what I did. Yeah. But And I know like it's something that won't ever happen again. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't really affect me okay. because it's pretty useless okay so if corky is meta again you will pick it again yes of course okay um there was one scene in the um mic check where you like after the game you went to the seat right and then we're inspired and finn uh talking to you because they were asking like what happened because they oh, obviously yeah. didn't see it right and uh you guys probably didn't know that you were recorded uh with video as well and then they put it in mic check uh how did it feel to you like that your teammates we're so supportive of you. Like, I mean, Finn immediately said, don't worry about it. No problem. We, we got it, you know. I mm, think it's nice. I don't think they yeah. didn't realize what the fuck I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they didn't really saw what happened. Yeah, that's how I was packed into Fountain. Yeah. Do your teammates still meme you about it? Mm. Or did no, they meme, not really. Did they meme about it at all? Not really. I mean, okay. sometimes, I guess. Mm. But rarely. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, something means like... I, okay. And if any team like Horace Corky, it's just okay. a bit cringe. So I have a few more topics, but we need to wrap it up since we're kind of delaying scrims right now. Yep. Um, just one one quick question regarding your front comparison, since you ended a whole show with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let's clear it up, the front comparison. Why, why do you think you're not like Froggen? I mean, uh, I, mean I play every style. Yeah, I mean, Thorin doesn't say you are exactly like Froggen. Yeah but uh like the style and mentality and how you play the lane that reminds them a lot of mm. Let's I think clear it up. because they say that because i'm very consistent mm. i've always been consistent but mm. the thing on stage i played like before i uh, last split i played pretty passive like then mm. because i didn't play with that much confidence mm. but at the end of split i played much more confidence and went for more plays i think progress plays i was like pretty passive uh, mm. just shielding farming but no, I guess that's not really my play style. It depends on champion, right? Mm. If I'm playing a Seer, I will far more. But if I'm like playing Kiana, I will roam a lot. I can kind of play any style, which is why this comparison doesn't make mm. sense to me. And I play like every champion. Mm. And but I guess do you, did you watch any LCS this bit? Yeah. I mean, Frog kind of changed, right? His his play style. Not really. No. No. So he's just passive farming. He's like playing mages and just farming. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what I did at the start because I was playing not with that much confidence and I didn't mm. really do that much. But yeah. Okay. But I mean, he's a pretty old and kind of legend in yeah. the EU scene. So don't you feel like at all that it's kind of like honoring, just saying that you are quite good already for your age I mean, it's to like, be compared? I mean, it's pretty nice, I would say. Yeah. But I don't, really, I don't really care about this stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, just one, one or two more sentences. What, what are your personal goals like as a player? And become the best, best mid laner in Europe okay. and uh, world in future. But right now you're in Europe, and I think I can do that. So sure. how how do you define the best player, like mechanically or? I mean, it's the rewards. best player overall. Like Caps was really good at uh, a lot of stuff, and he impacted the game a lot. So I just mm. want to impact the game and make sure my team becomes really good. Mm. Do you want to win worlds? Uh, I want to go to worlds first. Okay. And then. So that's a major goal. This this this. Yeah, season. this split is making to worlds. Okay. Um. Let's talk quickly about the last week matches and the upcoming matches. Yeah. So last week you probably played against G2 and Mad Lions. Yeah. Uh, it was a pretty good performance and a pretty kind of bad performance, right? Yeah. So uh, talk us through the games for a bit. I think this was one of our best weeks, or if not the best week, like mm -hmm. uh, gameplay-wise. Uh, Even the Mad Lions game? Yeah. I mean, we played really good in early game and we mm -hmm. did a lot of good stuff. But then team fights happened against Soraka and we... <laughs> didn't do this very well because yeah. we didn't have much experience versus Soraka and we kind of fucked it up in team fights and for sure we could have won both games if we just played better but we didn't have much experience playing uh, against Soraka so I think that kind of threw us off so would you ban it in uh, hindsight yeah we yeah. would both games mm. we would probably pick a bit differently as well okay 
But do you think there's a counter to Soraka right now in this meta? I think so. I don't think you can just blind pick Soraka top and get away with it. Okay. Um, and uh, I think it also showed clear weaknesses of the team right now, right? Uh, with playing solo uh, uh, side lanes and stuff like that. Um, do you think that that was important to already see that mistake so early in the season and to work on it? Yeah, I mean, seeing mistakes on stage is pretty big. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I mean, you see it really clearly on stage, like what we're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm kind of happy, like, we're not uh, winning, mm -hmm. that we went 0-2, because that just makes us improve more, I think. Okay. It's better than winning two games, because then we mm. probably won't uh, think about improving as much. Okay. Uh, let's talk fairly quickly about the upcoming matches. Um, is your goal to go 2-0 or just improve? I mean, we should for sure go 2-0. Okay. But uh, I mean, it's just how about we play? I think. Which which team is better, SK Gaming or Schalke? Both are bad. But if you have to choose one, which is SK, better. I guess, since okay. they have two wins, but both okay. are pretty bad. It's just about how we play, and if we play well, we're gonna win almost every game. So. Okay. All right then. Uh, thanks for the insights, Larsen. We have to go. I think this is the longest episode so far. Yeah. Um. Thanks very much, and uh, good luck in your scrims, I guess. Thank and you. see you. On Friday and Saturday against Schalke and SK Games. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.